to Fun Math. Today we're going to be talking about repeating patterns. If you didn't know that patterns are everywhere around you, even here. For example, in the title, the, in my title, Repeating Patterns, there's a pattern going on. So the pattern is blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, and so on. Here I have five examples to understand repeating patterns. Patterns are everywhere around you. Patterns are in colors. Patterns are in shapes. Patterns are in numbers. And patterns are in letters. Let's solve the first example. In the first example, the pattern is using colors. So let's solve it. Red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. And you have to find the next color. Okay, the co what is the core? The core, you... The core is, so if you see here, what colors are repeating on and on. So here we have red and blue, red and blue, red and blue. So the colors that are repeating on and on are red and blue. So that's the core, for example, one. Okay, this is the first core. So this is, this, this is step one. This is step two. So... If you see here, step one is repeating, and step two is repeating, and step one is also repeating. So this is the second core, core two, and this is core three. So now if you see that here there's blue, after blue, what comes next? It comes step one. It's red. That's the next Okay. Red. Okay. Now let's move on to this example. Example two. So we have to find the core and these three shapes that are left. Okay. So the first core is the first uh, shape is square, triangle, pentagon, square, triangle, pentagon. And then you have to find the three other shapes. Okay, here the core is square, triangle, and pentagon. That's the first core. The first core. And this is step one. This is step two, and this is step three. So step one is square, step two is triangle, step three is pentagon. And the next core is, this is the next core, core two. So this is repeating, square is repeating again, and then triangle is repeating. And then pentagons are repeating. That means pentagons the last one. Then it's re the it's repeating again. If you see here in example two, in core one, the core is repeating again in the second side. Like first uh, step is square, and it's also repeating square, triangle, triangle, pentagon, pentagon. That means. There are three steps, right? And it's repeating again here, three steps. Then the, here there are three missing shapes. That means there are three steps. So the next core is going to be a square, square, triangle, pentagon. So it's going to be square, triangle, and pentagon. These five, these three shapes are the missing shapes. Okay, let's move on to example three. If you see here, the core is repeating as well. So here the core is triangle, um, diamond, diamond heart, diamond, diamond heart, and then diamond. So this is the first core. Core one. And this is the first step. This is second step. This is third step. And if you see here, the core
is also repeating. So chord one is also repeating for chord two. This is chord two. And if you see here in step one, it's diamond and here's also diamond. Diamond, diamond, heart, heart. So here the chord is, here it's when we try it, um, diamond. So then we already have diamond for step one. Then step two should also be diamond and then heart. So that means those two missing shapes are diamond and heart. So these two are the missing shapes. For example three. Let's move on to example four. What's the chord for example four? The chord for example four Let's see. So here there's three, 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 six, four, three, 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 six, four. So here it's repeating from four, three to four. That's the first chord, chord one. And the steps are, the first step is three. Three, the second step is also three. And the third step is three, the four. The fourth step is six. And the fifth step is four. So there are five steps. And here there's the next chord. This is the next chord. And the repeating, here there's three. The first step is three, 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 six, six, four, four. So it's repeating. So if it's a four and it's repeating, what would be the next number? So the next chord the next chord is going to be, the next chord is going to be three because that's the next number after four. So that means the chord is three. Okay, since we found the answer for number, example four, let's solve example five. Okay, what is the chord for example five? So that's fine. So if you see, there's A, B, B, C, A, B, B, C. So that's the pattern here. So you have to, now the chord is, so there's A, B, B, C, and start repeating again. So that means it ends, starts at A, then it ends at C. So that's the chord, the first chord. So this is A is step one, B is step two, B again is step three, and C is step four. So we have, we have, Step, we have four steps. So here there's A, and here there's A as well. B, 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 C, C. That means this is the next chord. Sis, chord two. It's also repeating step one, step two, step three, and step four. So now there are three missing letters. What are they? So if you look back at chord one, the next chord is going to be here in chord one that the three first letters are a b and c a b b so so it's ending at c so it's also gonna so then the three missing letters are gonna be a b b so after c is a then after a is b after b is b these three letters are is are those missing letters for example five. All right, so now let's review what we learned today. We learned about repeating patterns. We had five examples to understand repeating patterns. And, and we, and patterns are everywhere around you. And patterns can also be in colors, shapes, numbers, and letters. What is important here for finding the repeating patterns? The important thing for finding the repeating patterns is the core or the rule. If you find the core or rule, it's easier to solve your pattern. I hope you learned something from this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.